Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor in chief over at theserverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And I think I got a real treat for you here. And I'm going to need about 10, 11 minutes of your time, but I'm going to show you how to clean up a Git repository by using the rebase command and a couple of other commands in there as well. But I think I'm going to do something that that you're going to find is pretty neat. I'm going to take a repository that's got about 20 commits in it, three different branches, nothing's been merged. I'm going to merge it all together. I'm going to squash some commits, I'm going to do some rebasing, and in the end, I'm going to pull this whole thing down from three branches and 15 commits to just two commits, and it's going to be totally cool. So anyways, I really hope you enjoy this tutorial because I really enjoyed putting it together. So to clean up a Git repository, you need a Git repository to clean up. I've got one here over on my GitLab account. You can find it if you want at CameronMCNZ slash squat squash commits example it's also on my github account too you can find a link in the server site article about this and this is a dirty little repository or at least as dirty as it can get if i want to clean it up in less than 10 minutes but you can see there's three branches they're unmerged this branch is five commits this one has three this one has two and they all branch out from the same point this base point right here i'd like to squash these commits i'd like to merge all of this together, get a rebase done, and get this cleaned up, and maybe even refactor this so all of these commits are gone and I've got nothing but one commit on here. But let's not get too aggressive right away. Now I'd suggest that you follow along with this, so actually clone my repository and play with this on your local machine. That's the best way to learn. First thing I gotta do is I gotta clone this repository. That means saying git clone and passing in the git URL, which I just copied under this clone option here that copies everything into the squash commits example and I'm just going to CD in there and currently I'm on the master branch you do need to check out all of the other branches before you start this so I'm going to do a little bit of a git checkout feature git checkout develop and once that's done, I'm going to take a look at the graph log that, that tells me what this whole repository looks like. So git log, graph, one line, local branches. And you can see this looks a, a little bit like the fancy dancy graph that I've got over on GitLab. Um, but I've got one, two, three branches, master, feature, and develop. You can see that there. And they all branch off from the same point. Note they all branch off from 95 f 18 base. That's this branch point here, and you can see that graphically. There's no doubt about that. Okay, so what do I want to do here? First thing I want to do is I want to take these five different commits and slam them down into one. All of those commits are on this develop branch here, and so I want all of these commits here to get slammed into this E commit. In order to do that, you use the git rebase interactive command, and you have to specify the branch point at which your branch that you want to slam splits off from uh, from its parent. So this is the command here, git rebase dash i for interactive and this is the branch point right there 953 so I'll type that in 953 f018. That brings up this interactive command and you have to pick one commit for everything to merge into. I'm going to merge into e here and then for the other ones that you don't want to leave hanging around, you just put an S next to them for squash. If you're in the nano editor, at this point you have to hit Control O to write this. Click Return, click X to exit. And of course it's gonna ask you for a git commit message and everything is being slammed down into commit E right here. So I'm gonna call this E prime. Control O to write it, enter, Control X to get out of here. And I'm going to take a look at my Git graph again. And you can see from the Git graph that E prime is now the only commit on that develop branch. Before there were five commits, now there's only one. That motivates me to go and tackle the feature branch. So I'm going to check out the feature branch. It's got three files in it, B, C, and D. And I'm going to do the exact same command, git rebase dash I, because this and the develop branch both start off from the same branch point. So I can use the exact same command. And this is exactly the same as what I did before, it's just different. 
I put S to the next to the commits that I want to slam into commit B. I pick one. Notice that the order of the commits here is reversed to what you usually see on the on the log. So that sometimes throws people off. People often pick the last one in this list if they're not paying attention. It's usually the first one that you want to pick. Again, I'm in nano, so I gotta do control O, enter, then control X. It's gonna ask me for a commit message. I'm gonna call this B prime. Control O, enter and then control X to get out of here. And I wanna see that graph again. And look at this, things are getting very nice already. We can see that we've now slammed these different branches down to one commit on each of them. And things look really, really nice. Now, one of the issues that I have is each of the branches have a different number of files on them. And so for every commit, a new file was created. So what branch am I in? I'm in the feature branch. And the feature branch, if I do an ls, it's got files b, c, and d. And that's because when the feature branch broke off, there were three commits, the b commit, the c commit, and the d commit. And for each of those, I created a, a file in there. So b.txt, c.txt, d.txt. And if you went into the develop branch, you would see e.txt, f.txt. You get the idea, right? But none of these files are shared. So nobody shares any of the files. I want all these shares, all these files to come together. Now, people that are naive usually do a merge, but merges are for losers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, I've got three branches here that are out of sync. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three rebases. So the first rebase that I'm gonna do is a git rebase of feature onto the develop, uh, develop onto the feature branch. Take a look at the log. And what this does is it takes that develop branch, it pushes it onto feature, and by doing so, the develop branch now gets all the files in feature plus the files it already had. It, essentially, you can think of this as bringing out the same result for the working tree of develop as a merge would do. It's not a merge. As I said, merges are for losers. It's not a merge, but it is pulling all of those files in. Okay, so we've got three branches. We've got to do this three times. Now I'm going to get rebase. I'm going to rebase master onto develop. And so you say the onto branch first. You say the, the branch you're doing it to second. So get rebase develop master. That's going to put master on the develop branch. And I'll take a look at the graph once again. And you can see things are getting very, very orderly here. So I'm liking the way that all of this is looking. Okay, but we've still got three separate commits. So uh, master, develop, and feature, they are not quite the same. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a git rebase. I'm gonna rebase feature onto master, which means I have to say master first, and then I say feature. Okay, this is now gonna put feature on top of master and develop was before master. This is gonna cause all sorts of fast forwarding and rewinding, but I love it. If I do a, a look at the graph once again, you can see develop is now below feature and master. I'm gonna do one more, get rebase, and I'm gonna rebase onto feature, and I'm gonna rebase onto feature that develop branch. And now when I look at the log, look at this magic. The magic here is develop, master, and feature are all pointing to the same commit. They're at exactly the same spot. They've got exactly the same files. And we've got a nice little history here where I've got the base commit, I've got B prime, I've got E prime, and I've got all the files right up here. So if I do an LS, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I, don't, I can't even count that high, but all the files are in there. That's the develop branch if I check out master and do ls it's got the same number of files as well so we've now completely synchronized these repositories so pat on your back i think this is pretty awesome where we're getting right here but the magic isn't done yet um i'm going to do something that i don't know i'm just going to get a little crazy here i'm going to do git branch dash d you know where i'm going here right I'm going to go git branch dash d. And then I'm going to do a git graph. And look at this. 
I got rid of my feature and develop branch. We didn't need that those ragtag branches hanging around anyways. They were no good, do nothing, but it's done. So look at this, I got rid of those branches. And now that I got rid of those branches, I'm gonna do some real magic. I'm gonna go back to the start of this tutorial and watch this. I am gonna rebase. Boy, it's really going back here. I'm gonna do a rebase, but I'm gonna do a rebase from, look at this, turn your head if you don't wanna see this, cover your eyes, 4D0B5BA, that's the very first commit there. Interactive rebase, here we go. I'm gonna pick the base, but I'm gonna squash everything here. Nobody is safe in this example. You can run, you can hide, but you cannot get away. Okay, so that is done. Control X. Base prime is what I'm going to call this commit. Control O, enter, and Control X. And I don't know if anybody wants to see this massacre that's going on here, but I am now down to two commits. I've got my master branch. It's going off initial. And I've got all of the files in here. I've got everything from the branches and I've torn away all of those commits. I've torn away the entire history. We no longer have this here. We have something beautiful right here. Now I would say I would, at this point I would go get branch develop. And I'd say get branch feature. And I would take a look at the graph once again. And I would see that master feature and develop are now pointing at the same, same commit, but it's right down there at the start of the history. And so there you go. I mean, how long was that? Just over 10 minutes. And I completely annihilated this dirty little branch here. And now we've got something that is so clean you could eat off it. So there you go, that's how you can really clean up a uh, Git repository. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned a thing or two here, uh, please share it with your friends because I think there's a lot of good, interesting stuff in here that's worth sharing if you're hanging out with software developers. By the way, I am the editor of the serverside.com. There's a write-up on this on the site. So you go and check that out if uh, you want to actually see a textual description of what I got up to here. Furthermore, if uh, you want to keep up to date with my daily antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and also please subscribe on YouTube.